Here I will be using the scoop organizer which they sell at IKEA and this is in the closet section and they sell this to organize your clothes. I will start by putting all of my baking spices inside of the scoop organizer. Next, I will be adding my measuring cups. And I will be adding my measuring spoons. This is another set that I have of measuring cups. And in this little plastic box that I have here, I have stored a few little things. Like for example, in here I have the um, I have the cupcake cup holders. I also have this cute little heart that is for cookies. I also have this that is to cut dough. And this is for this little box. In this little box here, I have my piping syringe, which I use to decorate all my cupcakes as well as my cakes. In this little plastic box here, I have some cookie cutters. In here, I have my hand mixer and I will also be storing it here. And I will also be storing all the attachments that come with a mixer. In this little plastic box here, I have my food coloring as well as all the decoration and writing pens. In here, I have this cute little cupcake liners which are perfect for parties or special occasions. In here, I have some skewers and I use them whenever I'm baking cakes because sometimes the cakes could be pretty tall. In here, I will be using this small little plastic basket, which is going to help me organize all of the little things. In the little plastic basket, I will be storing my baking powder. I also will be storing the powdered sugar, which is used to dust in any cakes or any desserts. I will also be storing the vanilla extract. In here I also have some baking powder which is in the envelope and this is to refill my jar. In here I have some active yeast. And in here I have some lemon zest. In here, I also have some toothpicks. And this is what the finished drawer looks like. Everything that I need to bake is conveniently stored into one drawer. This is everything that I need to bake cakes, cupcakes, pies to make cookies. In here, I have my measuring spoons, my measuring cups, my baking spices. I also have my piping bags. I also have the cookie cutters, the electric uh, hand mixer, and I have all the other things that I need for baking conveniently stored into one drawer.
In here I have an acrylic organizer which is used for the refrigerators. This acrylic organizer is long and narrow and is usually used in the refrigerator door. In this acrylic organizer I will be storing all of the saucers that belong to a coffee set. I will also be storing the cups that belong to the coffee set. In here I have a plastic basket and I will be using this basket to store all of my coffee mugs. In here I have very tall coffee mugs which belong to a dessert set and I will be storing this on the side of the drawer. And this is what the finished drawer looks like. All of the coffee cups and all of the mugs are conveniently stored into one place. In this drawer here I will be storing my eating utensils. In here I have a butcher block which I got from Ikea and it's used to organize your kitchen knives. Here I have a little plastic basket which I will be using to store all of my steak knives. In here I have a knife sharpener which I bought from IKEA. In this little box here I have this little plastic ties which are used for sealing plastic bags. In here I have another plastic basket and I will be storing all of my kitchen gadgets inside of them. In here I have a reusable K-cup and it's used for my coffee maker. And in here I have a little tea strainer.
And this is what my drawer looks like once it's completely organized. It has all the kitchen knives, it has all the eating utensils, it has the steak knives, the knife sharpener, all the kitchen gadgets, all the little things that I use for my kitchen, as well as the plastic bag ties. In this drawer here, I will be storing all of my food containers. These are glass food containers and I will be storing them sideways like if it was like if they were books. I'm just going to be putting them one next to each other and by doing so is going to allow me to store more items inside of this drawer. In here I have a large plastic container and I have two small plastic containers. So to save some space I will be putting the two little plastic boxes inside of the large one and by doing so I will be saving myself a lot of space. In here I have these little plastic containers which I usually use for storing fruits. In here I have these little plastic containers which I usually use them to store my homemade cheese. And this little plastic container is usually used for sauces. And this is what the finished drawer looks like. I have all of my food storage containers neatly organized into one drawer. In this drawer here, I will be storing all of my Pyrexes as well as all of my mixing bowls. And this is what the finished drawer looks like. All of my Pyrexes and all of my mixing bowls are neatly organized into one place. In here I will be storing all of my dessert cups. Also these little glass cups that have a lid. I will also be storing all of my ramkins. Also, I will be storing the molds used for my gelatin. And in here I have more dessert bowls. In here I have some egg holders. In here I have these cute little balls which are used for sauces, for condiments, for little side dishes, for nuts, for any little thing you want to put in them. In here I have these cute little plates and these little plates are used for parties for putting little side dishes inside of them. And in here I have the little plastic lids which go with the little glass containers. And 
this is what the drawer looks like. Everything is neatly organized into one place. In this drawer here, I will be storing my dessert plates. I also will be storing the small drinking glasses. This is how the finished drawer looks like. All of the dessert plates and the small glasses neatly organized into one place. In this drawer here, I will be storing all of the wax paper, which is the baking paper. I will also be storing the aluminum foil and I will also be storing the cling wrap. And this is how the finished drawer looks like. Everything that I need neatly organized into one drawer. And this is the last drawer, which is the very top one, and in here I have all my cooking utensils and spoons. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please go ahead, give us a thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do it now. And thanks for watching, bye!